device. In this video, we'll show you how to perform a packet capture using an Arupa Instant Access Point and Wireshark running on our laptop. This diagram shows our lab setup. We will connect the Aruba Instant AP505H to the power adapter and use an Ethernet cable to connect the interface E0 to our laptop wired NIC. Then we will configure the AP to perform a wireless packet capture and send those frames over to our laptop running Wireshark for analysis. Let's start with the AP setup. Connect your AP to a network with an internet connection and boot it up. Wait for it to start broadcasting the Set Me Up SSID. It will take over 5 minutes for the AP to boot up, so please be patient. If you're not seeing the Set Me Up SSID even after 10 minutes, you may have to perform a factory reset on your AP. Connect to the Set Me Up SSID. Open your browser and try browsing to a website. You should be redirected to the AP management page. Ignore the security warnings and proceed. Log in using admin as your username and AP serial number as your password. Please note, password is case sensitive, so use capital letters accordingly. You will be asked to set a new password and login. Set your country settings and click OK to close the message about Aruba Central. Go to Configuration, Access Points, select the AP and click on the Edit button. Let's give it a name and set a static IP address. Click on Save. Check the IP settings are still there. Go to Maintenance and Reboot. While you're waiting for it to come back online, connect the APE0 port directly to your laptop. Let's set up our laptop next. Click on the network icon in the system tray. Select Network and Internet Settings. Click on Ethernet, change adapter options. Double click on your Ethernet adapter, the one you're using to connect to the AP. Click on Properties, double click TCP IP version 4. Set a manual IP address and a subnet mask. We won't be setting a default gateway or DNS server as this connection will be purely used for wireless capture traffic between our AP and our laptop. Click OK, OK again and close. Open your browser and access the management IP of your access point that we set earlier using port 4343. Login. Go to Configuration, Access Points, select the AP and click on Edit. Expand the radio section and change the mode for both radios to monitor mode. This will keep the radios up but we won't be transmitting anything, only listening. Click on Save. Under Configuration, go to System. Show advanced settings. Make sure console access is enabled. We will have to SSH into the AP in order to initiate our packet capture. Open the terminal, connect to the AP using SSH and login. Type show AP BSS table command to see the available radios. This is our 5 GHz radio. With the corresponding BSS ID and a 2.4 GHz radio with its own BSS ID. We will need these later on. To start the packet capture, type pcap start and then use question mark to explore the options. Next parameter is bssid, which we will copy from the output above. Since we want to perform the capture on a 5 GHz radio, we will use the first one. Next, we need to specify the destination IP address or where we will be sending this capture to. We will use the IP address of our laptop and then we will select port 5555. We'll select our capture format as 6, radio tap type. This will give us the most information. Then we specify the maximum packet size in bytes that we will capture as well as the channel we will be capturing on. We are capturing on a 40 MHz channel, 52 plus, so we will use 52-56. Press enter to start the capture. Use show pcap status command to view currently active captures. Now let's set up Wireshark. Download and install the latest version. Make sure that you install NPCAP. Open Wireshark. Select the interface that is connected to our AP and click on Start Capture. 
you will see a lot of frames being captured, but these will look like standard Ethernet frames, not wireless frames. We need to set up Wireshark to decode them for us. Go to Edit, Preferences, Expand Protocols, click on Aruba ERM and type in port 5555. ERM stands for Encapsulated Remote Mirroring. It's essentially telling Wireshark that packets coming in on UDP port 5555 are encapsulated wireless packet capture frames. Then we go to Analyze, Decode As, click on the plus button, select Aruba ERM type, and from the current field, select Type 6, same format we specified when we started our package capture. Click on Save. And now Wireshark is able to decode these encapsulated wireless frames and give us all the information. Let's expand 802.11 section, right click on Phi type and select Apply as a column. Do the same with the Channel and Signal Strength fields. Let's start a new capture and connect our laptop to the SSID that we are capturing on, so we can generate more traffic. You can see that we are capturing Wi-Fi 6 frames. Let's close our Wireshark and open our SSH session to the AP. Type show PCAP status to see currently active packet capture sessions. To stop a session, type PCAP stop BSS ID, copy and paste from above, and PCAP dash ID, which is one in this instance. And there you have it how to perform a wireless packet capture using your Aruba Instant AP and Wireshark. For more information, guides and videos, check out the library at phoenixpro.club.